Hey guys, it's Lori. I'm gonna hop on and give an update real quick. Plus, I wanted to babble a little. I had a story to tell you. Um, I am, well, I don't know what I weigh today because I didn't weigh. I think I'm just gonna start weighing on Sundays. So, because I don't plan on weighing every day for the rest of my life, you know? <laughs> so anyway, yesterday I did weigh and I was at 129.8. 129.8. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, that was up 2.2 pounds from the day before. And it wasn't because of any Easter dinner or anything either, because we didn't even do Easter dinner. We haven't even done Easter. There was no Easter candy, no Easter nothing. I was a good girl. I was P3, I believe. I don't even know if I had any anything outside of a P3 friendly item. But eating the hunger, all that good stuff. My um, in-laws postponed Easter until this coming weekend, so. Um, anyway, I don't know why I went up 2.2, but I did, so I decided that I'm just not even gonna wait for the rest of the week. I'm just gonna weigh on Sundays from now on, at least for a while, and see what happens. I know Tom was due last week. Well, he was due on Saturday, and it's Tuesday now, so. He's late. Maybe, you know, that might be part of it, but this morning when I got up, I felt like really, really, really swollen like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. So, you can probably see all that crap in the back there, can't you? Look at all that. Can you see it? I don't know. I can't tell, but I'm loaded up with stuff for the Salvation Army again. This is my third load, and I still, I have a couple more big bags in the house yet. But, and, you know, I have a a couple bags of groceries back there too but anyway um kind of babbling i'm not i'm not real you know bothered by the weight i just don't understand why it was a 2.2 pound jump like that but i'm not really bothered by it i don't want to see 130 though so um yeah i was going to tell you that last week was our anniversary on wednesday last week and John wanted, this is a little bit of food porn, but it's just to tell a story, so <laughs> he wanted a strawberry cream pie, and so that's what I made him. He had taken Brendan, he left for a little bit to take Brendan to uh, check out a new wrestling club that we're going to put him in. He's joining a, a new wrestling club that's a year-round thing, and he's real excited about that, so they wanted to check that out, and so I wanted to make him surprise him with the strawberry cream pie that he's been wanting and make that while they were gone so as soon as they left I started making it and I got the filling all made and the crust well actually I got the crust made first so it could cool off um, I, I mixed together the crust it was almond flour and some melted butter and some sweetener what else some vanilla and an egg you just mix it all together right in the pie plate and press it down and I had the oven preheating and get the crust all ready to put in the oven and I start smelling gas so yeah that was nice my oven wouldn't light it's electronic ignition I don't even want to fool around with trying to light it with them I got one of those long lighters I'm not gonna do that not with my oven I do it with my burners once in a while if they quit working on me but yeah, so filled my kitchen up with gas. So I shut the oven off and opened up a window. I thought, great, now I'm gonna make the pie. <laughs> so I decided to try to bake the crust in the microwave. Six minutes in the microwave and it was perfect. <laughs> I thought it was a little hard, but by the time I let it cool off and put the filling in and refrigerated it for a while, it was perfect. So. <laughs> If you ever want to bake an almond crust and you don't want to use the oven, six minutes in the microwave did it, did it for me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that was just a little something to tell you. So now my oven's broke. Happy anniversary, honey. The oven's broke. <laughs> um, Got to get that fixed. I use my oven quite a bit. It limits me on what I can make for dinner and stuff, you know, when I can't use my oven. But anyway, we'll get that fixed eventually. It's just not in the budget, you know? It seems like every time, this is this is kind of a slow time 
for, you know, he's not getting as much overtime right now. And I have people that I clean for that are in Florida for the winter and they're not back yet. So it's like April is full of birthdays. <laughs> so we don't have a lot of money to spend on stuff like that. His car just came out of the shop yesterday, the oven. My washer is off balance or whatever. I don't know what you call it, but it makes a thump, 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 thump. It tries to jump across the floor when it's spinning. And it's like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, man. And our TV, we just got this flat screen not too long ago, just right before Christmas. And the sound is going out on it. It's like, okay. So it's supposedly covered by warranty, but John has to take it pretty good size. I don't remember the measurement of it, but it's a big TV and he has to take it to some guy and have him fix it, but he's waiting for approval from the warranty company or whatever. So it's like, why is everything going to hell right now? Oh my God. You know, I got stuff to do here. I don't have time to be worried about stuff like this, <laughs> but on a brighter note, um, Brendan, my youngest, is all moved into his new room. It's done. And um, I've started on the second room and um, my oldest moved out over the weekend. He still has a few things at the house that he needs to pick up, but it's no big deal. So that's pretty cool. I'm real happy about that. He's real close to me and he's happy with his apartment. It's just a little efficiency, but he loves it. So that's his style to live in an efficiency apartment. That's fine with him. <laughs> it's not a bad place though, really. Yeah, I guess that's about all I had to say. So, see ya.